Hi guys, thought you might be interested to see this. Um, this is Windows 11 Pro running on a uh, Pi 400, Raspberry Pi 400. Uh, the original image I built for a Pi 4, but my Pi 4's busy doing something else at the moment, so I thought I'd show you it, uh, it running on a Pi 400. A few things to uh, consider when running on a Pi 400. Uh, the audio defaults to analog, or it seems to anyway, so um, so we won't be able to demonstrate the audio working at the moment, but uh, there's a few other things I can show you. Also, the, um, the networking uh, only supports Ethernet at the moment, or seems to, so I can't, um, I can't connect it via Wi-Fi, so I'm using the uh, Vonitz adapter here, which is basically uh, an Ethernet to, uh, to Wi-Fi bridge, and, uh, and that'll work adequately for the purposes of. So it takes a little while, as you can see, to uh, actually boot up, um, and it's not <laughs> it's not the fastest OS on on this platform, but this is running barefoot. So on a Pi 400, um, that's only 1.8 gigahertz on a quad core, obviously quad core CPU uh, with four gigs of RAM. So that's what we're working with. And some of the other um, other guys on YouTube have already demonstrated um, YouTube streaming, video streaming, things like that. So we won't bother covering that off, mainly because we don't have any audio, but also because the performance really isn't up to much. Um, if you overclocked it to the max, maybe it would be okay, but it's never going to be great. Um, so what I'm going to focus on is productivity apps, um, have a look at Office running on it, uh, that kind of stuff. When it eventually boots up. Okay, so here you go, up to the desktop, finally. Okay, so this has been set up to authenticate with a pin. And there we go, that's the Windows 11 desktop. So as I said, it's not the fastest OS in the world when running on this particular platform. But, aesthetically, looks pretty good. Okay, let's just show you this. So if I just pull up the task manager. So idling at the moment, doing absolutely nothing. If we look at performance, there's our four cores. Our A72 CPU currently running at the uh, stock 1.8 gigahertz, and yeah, you can see that's okay. We'll leave that running up in the background there. Let's just have a look at what we've got. So, if we start up a copy of Word. You can see that pretty much all four calls are pinned there. And it's still thinking about it. <laughs> Here we go. Finally. Okay, so we'll just create a new blank document and what we're really looking for here is the, uh, the response as I'm typing. Okay, that's actually pretty respectable to be fair. Oh, excuse me, I'm knocking the camera. So we'll come out of there and we'll not save that. OK, 
Okay. And I'll tell you what we'll try. We'll just try some web browsing, but I, I can't try video streaming because obviously I don't have any audio at the moment. Okay, actually, browsing experience, pretty respectable, not bad at all. I could live with that. Now, normally, I'm not a big fan of Edge, but um, but I can't really fault that. That's not bad. Okay, so there you go. That's Windows 11 Pro uh, running on a Raspberry Pi 400 uh, barefoot uh, with the addition of a Vonitz Ethernet to Wi-Fi adapter. So um, I think it's got potential. I think we need some uh, some faster hardware to run it on. Um, but uh, but with that and some some improvements in GPU support, could be good to go. But um, but at the moment, interesting to have a play with. Okay, thanks guys. Hope that was useful for you. Catch you on the next one. Cheers.